guys, I'm Dalek, the Vice President of the FHS Robotics Team, and in this video I'll be giving you guys a brief introduction to the V5 system. Specifically, I'll be going over the main features of the V5 robot and V5 wireless controller. Before we get into it, I want to quickly go over the history of the VEX microcontrollers. The first one came out in 2000, and in over the course of about two decades, VEX has been making continual improvements to their system. The biggest improvement by far has been the jump from the V5 V4 system to the V5 system. I'll show you why. This system has made huge advancements in every single component, including a brand new Cortex, controller, motors, and sensors. While making great advancements in these areas, the V5 system has still managed to be compatible to older generation comp components, which I think is very interesting. First, the V5 robot brain are also known as the Cortex. This new Cortex has a very nice 4.25 inch color display, which is a huge improvement for the three blinking LED lights that the V4 system had. It opens up teams to greater capabilities because the screen has so many functions. I won't go into every single detail, but one example is that you can see real-time diagnostics of all the components connected to the Cortex. Here, you can see that the screen is giving info about a certain motor's speed, degree, torque, and even temperature, which is really cool. This Cortex also has 21 smart ports, which means you'll be able to connect the new V5 smart motors and V5 smart sensors. I'll be going over those smart components in a second video, that will be linked in the description. In addition to the smart ports, it also has 8 3-wire ports that allows you to connect the older generation sensors and motors that were used in the V4 and V3 microcontrollers. Another main benefit of the V5 Cortex is you can download up to 8 programs, unlike the old V4 system that could only hold one. That's going to make it very easy to switch between programs, which makes it even more efficient. These programs can also be coded in multiple languages, like C++ and Python. People mainly use C++ to code the V5 robots, but Python is an equally powerful language, just a bit harder to learn because it's not been documented that much for, for VEX robotics. If you want to learn how to code your robot in C++, I would recommend going through our C++ tutorials. That will be linked in the description as well. The new Cortex has successfully made robotics much easier for everyone by eliminating any nuances you might find while building the robot and while coding. It, also, it has also added even more function, functionality to the robots that you will make. Now, let's move on to the main features of the V5 wireless controller. Similar to the robot brain, the biggest advancement made to this component was the addition of a screen. Again, the screen makes programming and testing robots very easy. How does it do that? Well, the controller has a built-in drive program, which makes, which as the name suggests, will allow you to test out your drive train without any coding necessary. It makes building much easier for new learners and experts alike. Another great feature that I'm super excited about is you can start and stop code from the controller wirelessly. Not only that, while your code is stopped, you can update values inside the code. To give you a better understanding of this feature, let's say that you're coding an autonomous program and your robot is going too fast at one section of the code. You can just stop the program from the press of a button and then proceed to change the motor values inside the code. This feature is going to make programming and debugging much easier. The LCD display can also be configured to output real-time information of the robot. These widgets, as Vex calls it, are going to act like gauges in a car, giving the driver precise diagnostics on the robot's speed, RPM, and torque. One interesting feature that, the Vex, that VEX added is a haptic rumble motor into the controller. What, what this motor does is that it vibrates the controller, and it can be programmed to be activated any time during the code. I can see this being used to inform drivers during competitions seamlessly. For instance, you can code the controller to vibrate a set amount of times during a match, so the driver knows how much time is left. The new controller is a very nice update to the previous controller because of its increased functionality. Along with letting driver con drivers control the robot, it's also an asset that will make programming and debugging the robot much more efficient. This controller has so many great features. I want to quickly go over some, some more of them. The V5 controller can be charged through a micro USB port, which is just a standard phone charger that you can find laying around. This is much easier to power than the old controller that needed 6 rechargeable batteries, a bulky power bank, and a charging set. 
You can also connect it to the Cortex through the USB to program the robot as well. Charging time has also been decreased significantly. It only takes up to one hour to charge, which is really good. And the battery time has been increased. It can be powered on for eight to nine hours continuously, which is a huge increase from the old V4 controller that only had up to one hour of battery time. In fact, they've been able to increase the battery life so much because the controller uses the more efficient lithium ion batteries instead of six AAA cells. Lithium ion batteries are the same batteries that are used on smartphones, smartphones and electric vehicles. And that's really, really cool. Also, the controller now has a built-in VexNet 3.0 and Bluetooth 4.0 chips inside. So there's no need to fidget around with the VexNet keys. Lastly, similar to the V4 controller, the V5 controller has 12 programmable buttons, which includes 4 arrow buttons, 4 lettered buttons, and 4 bumpers on the back. These arrowed keys can also be used to navigate the LCD screen when no program is running. As you would expect, it has two axis joystick controls, similar to the V4 controller, so you can, so you can drive your robot. Ultimately, the new V5 system makes robotics very efficient and e easy for everyone. This is because of the, all the cool new features. Additionally, if you want to learn about the new motors and sensors that come along with the V5 system, please watch the second part of this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.